In this example, it says a scientist completed an experiment in an attempt to determine the density of an unknown metal. The scientist plotted the results of the experiment on the graph below. Calculate the scientist's percent error for the density of the unknown metal. And the actual density of this unknown metal happens to be 2.95 grams per milliliter. So a scientist performs an experiment and the scientist plots the mass and volume of these unknown metals on this graph that we see right here. The mass is on the y-axis in grams and the volume of the metal is on the x-axis in milliliters. And so the scientist plots the mass and volume of the metal in trial one right here, in trial two right here, in trial three, in trial four, and in trial five. So there's five trials here where the scientist plots the mass and volume of this unknown metal. And so what we can do with these plotted points of mass and volume is we can draw a line of best fit. And so we have a line of best fit right here for these five trials of mass and volume. Keeping in mind that density equals mass divided by volume. So each one of these plots here uh, is the mass and volume of that given substance. From that you can determine the density. We know the actual density is 2.95 grams per milliliter. And so what we have to do is determine the scientist's percent error in this problem right here. And so we have a line of best fit right here for these plotted points right here. And this line of best fit right here will end up being the density, the measured density of this unknown metal. In other words, if we can somehow find the slope of this line of best fit, so the slope of the line of best fit here, that will give us the measured density of this unknown metal here. And so how do we find slope? Well, if you remember, to get the slope of a line, to get the slope of a line, we can take y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. And that will give us the slope of the line. And the slope of this line will be the measured density or the measured value here that we can plug into the percent error formula. So how are we going to find the slope of this line? Well, we need to select two points on this line, first of all. And when we're selecting two points from this line, we should probably select two points that intersect these lines on the graph paper perfectly so that way our measurements aren't that far off of what they actually are. So if we take a look right here, we can see a point right here that crosses the graph paper perfectly. And we're going to go ahead and call this point 90 on the x-axis and 160 on the y-axis. And now let's find a second point. If we find a second point here, we can see that there's one right here that intersects the graph paper perfectly or pretty close to perfectly and if we take a look here this point here is going to be 260 and 460 and so now that we have these points we can easily determine the slope of this line we'll take y2 minus y1 so here is y2 460 minus y1 which is 160 and we're going to divide this by x2, which is 260, minus x1, which is 90. And we're running out of room, so we'll put this right here. So 460 minus 160 is equal to 300. And 260 minus 190 is equal to 170. And so when we put this in our calculator, 300 divided by 170, we are going to end up with a slope of 1.76. So here's our slope, and here's the slope of the line. This slope here, the slope of this line, which is 1.76, is also going to be the density, the measured density. So the measured density...
of this unknown metal happens to be 1.76 grams per milliliter, right? Grams per milliliter. We have grams right here. We have milliliters right here. So 1.76 grams per milliliter. So now how do we determine the percent error here? To get the percent error here, we can now use this formula right here. Percent error equals the absolute value of the measured value minus the actual value divided by the actual value times 100. So to get our percent error here, we're going to take the absolute value of our measured value. Our measured value was 1.76 grams per milliliter minus the actual value. What is the actual density? It's right here, 2.95 grams per milliliter. We're then going to divide by the actual value or actual density, 2.95 grams per milliliter. And then we're going to multiply by 100 and add a percent sign at the end. So when we take 1.76, the absolute value of 1.76 minus 2.95, and then divide that by 2.95 and then multiply by 100 we're going to get a percent error of 40.3 so this scientist's percent error in this experiment to determine the density of this metal is 40.3 percent the scientist had a 40.3 percent error that means that their measured value here of the density of this unknown metal is 40.3 percent away from the actual density of this uh, metal right here and so if you like what you see go ahead and click that little bomb in the bottom right hand corner and that will subscribe you to my channel and feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comment section down below and i really hope you guys found this helpful